haven't trained in two weeks. I haven't trained in two weeks. I'm gonna have to have to do some Another day, another vlog. Apparently I've got to call it vlog now rather than calling it vlog because everyone keeps saying it's wrong. Anyway, we've lost a key card, but I'm gonna try and get away with getting one back rather than two. Cheers. We've got to have a boat. Vlog or vlog? I say vlog. So if you guys can comment on the bottom, right? Vlog or vlog. I've been saying. Just, uh, not what you know. Another day, another vlog. There's a video log, right? Vlog. Vlog. What then you've got? So comment below what I should say. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll vlog. Do it. So we're looking for what? Then? Ten. Ten six. Ten six. On a Tuesday. Are they not in the car? He hasn't. He hasn't trained in two weeks. <laughs> so, where do you pay? It must be that way then. Okay. Make sure you lock your car. You're gonna get locked up. <laughs> I'm drunk. Yes. Have you got a yellow monster in there? Yeah. Yes. No one, no one, no one buys him apparently. I got in trouble with buying him. Yeah. So we're gonna meet, we're gonna meet Nads. Nads is a client from about two years ago in a power by eating client, and uh, he's learned a hell of a lot. And he's also gone through shredded by science. I think I spoke about that on this vlog before. And he's actually a coach as well. So hopefully he's gonna be up in his coaching game and maybe taking some clients, online clients off me because I've got too many. Uh, yeah, there he is. He's, look, he's looking good. There he is, looking swag. Uh, Let's talking about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. See you. Long time, nice to see you. Oh, yeah, nice to meet you, bud. Right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Looking good? Yeah. Nice shiny hair, shiny beard. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've just come off the stag here, so I'm a bit, I don't know, trained. <laughs> there we go. I mean, talking about I, 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 I haven't tried for two weeks, mate. I'll do it. Yeah, because they don't scan it, do they? Yeah, scan it, mate. Have you seen the vlog? Have you watched it? No, I haven't. Yeah. I've watched it. I've watched it. I've watched it. I've watched it. In the club off Tuesday. Can you put his, um, his Facebook on the, on the screen? You have to look at the camera for that so it looks pose a little bit. Ding.
a calorie deficit, no matter what any of the magic pills or potions or whatever will tell you, the magic thing is a calorie deficit is what makes us lose weight. In terms of your diet setup, that is made up of your desire, your why, it's made up of consistency and adherence. Every single one of those things play a massive factor in terms of your overall diet success. Now, without those, without those in place at, uh, at the start, your whole diet has got no chance of succeeding. Whether you go into your calorie deficit, etc. If you haven't taken care of this at first, then you've got no chance in, in, in that overall success. So if we can get this sorted um, first before moving on to any of the, the nitty gritty bits, then you've, you've got a massive, massive um, chance. So don't go so low Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Don't be starving Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Don't cut out everything Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Don't try and detox Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just actually create some sort of calorie deficit that's not too extreme so that by the time you get to the weekend, you can actually still go out, live a normal life, spend time with your friends, without completely overshooting things. So what I'm trying to say is, we can't just give the same calories to me and me because it might be totally, totally different. So what do we do in this instance? So this is where you might want to take pictures. We're going to give you a slide in a minute with loads of information, write it down or whatever. What we're going to do is we're going to guess. But we're going to guess with an evidence-based guess. So this is the best way to find out how many calories we need, okay? purpose we get you to eat your cheesecake every day but only 20% of your calorie balance which we spoke about earlier on so what's going to happen if you eat cheesecake every day but it fits within your calorie goal you're still losing weight you're, you're losing still in weight. a calorie deficit <laughs> get the baby on there saying bye Bye, Rocco. Bye. Take it to me, everyone. Next Christmas card, though. <laughs> Try and watch. <laughs> you fit behind one of the seats. Can't get away, no. Just, <laughs> just have to force it in. <laughs> just to keep it on the driver's seat. No one can sit behind him. No one can sit behind you with that. Just stick it in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go in, go in through the back, yeah. Pull it in the back, way. It's a bit tight. <laughs> oh no, there's some wiggle room there, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, have you, I think you've forgotten, Chris, that there's big bags going in the back as well. What? There's big bags. I think it's alright, look, it's just going to be there. So put it like that. Connor can have it on his lap. You on your own bottle of water, Ash? You can have it on your lap, I'm joking. You mean a big bag that's going in the back there? This one. Don't lob it. That's why we can't fit in that car. Because all this. Oh yeah, they didn't have the tables, did they, the other day? What do you need to do now? How yeah. do you get out in the past? Do they take it off you? I just I just don't what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive around half Three, is there? There's that. still two on the dashboard. Oh, yeah, after two. There's another one there. Yeah, but we need that for Connor's car. Yeah, Dave, he's got another two. How it's many three. Have you got? There's oh, plenty. You've got three? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Cheers. Yeah, I know you're probably thinking yesterday. We've, we've got room to, to, to drive to the restaurant. Why can't we go to the restaurant? That's what we were thinking, yeah. Because yeah. the tables are all in there. I don't take the piss, you know. I'm not, I'm not just horrible. It's Chris's way of thinking, though, isn't it? You like to forget crucial information. But, where, but where's your yeah, really important stuff? Where's your sweet chili sauce? In the sweet spot. In the, in the sweet bag, spot. <laughs> Mix, <laughs> mixed it up with the baby's milk. Can I steal it? He says he hasn't eaten. Says he hasn't eaten, but he's eaten four chicken burgers since we've been there. 
He hasn't, eat, he hasn't eaten in two weeks. And pizza, yeah, he hasn't eaten in two weeks. <laughs> I haven't eaten in two weeks. Two weeks. In two weeks. I haven't trained in two weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have two <laughs> Where's your protein, Chris? It's in here. Get some gains in there, mate. You know, tuna. And this is um for my tra for my travelling life, right? You're not gonna drain it. I used to travel. Um, and eat, you know my tin of tuna story that I said earlier on? Yeah. I used to have it eat like that from the tin. Use that as a spoon. You oh, go. you haven't even drained it, you sicko. No, I'm not going to get any wet in there. That's what she said. <laughs> Where's your pickle for every 15 minutes? You're going to have to stop at every service station so you get a pickle. <laughs> every 15 minutes. You're going to have fun with this vlog, aren't you? Yeah. I haven't eaten in two weeks, I haven't trained in two oh, weeks. I haven't eaten in two weeks, I haven't trained in two weeks, leave me alone. I'm going to eat a bit more. You're missing some gains in there, Chris. You can have your sweet chilli sauce back now. Back no, it's empty. <laughs> Should we get the scales out, please? I haven't tracked this weekend. There's no fibre on that. Yeah, I know, but I'll eat that when I get home. It's it's nice big some nail. blended duffel. <laughs> <laughs> That's had the protein right, Chris. Right there. How is Fia's hair? She's not even been here. <laughs> react! 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 That was absolutely awesome. I look back. I look all the end. I look all the end. Appreciate it's me, Dad. Always. Nice fun, man. Cheers, man. Till next time. Nice to meet you, man. So, which seat's got chocolate milk on it then? <laughs> Just the middle one. <laughs> Take care. Uh, See ya. He's like, yeah, he's very professional. He's zooming in on my nose. Or something. It is leaking a bit. I'm doing you a favour here. I'm eating this outside the car because it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> It's juices. <laughs> it's protein juices. <laughs> That's where my fibre is. That's just, just capture the amount of gains you just lost and what's left in that sort of tuna. All those gains, all those macros, mate. Put your lemon on there. Sickening. Who's running the shotgun news in the back? I'm having shotgun. He's fucking. He's, he's on a roof. Every short time we do the fucking <laughs> tri tricep dip bar. That sorts that out. So we're just in the middle of editing this vlog. Uh, my last, this is the last day of Body Power. My last day of Body Power, I realised that we didn't have an ending. So I thought I'd summarise it. Um, the Body Power experience was like, what would you call it, like a weekend away without alcohol. And um, we still had fun, we had a lot of laughs. You've seen a lot of them on the vlog already. Look at this, I'm calling the vlog now already. Translated into the new word. Um, it was great to, the overall experience was good. It was great to meet the people who followed the vlog and followed my Instagram and followed me on Facebook. Um, and then of course people that have done Empower by Eating have come to the stand and said hello and seen how much they've kind of transformed their life and actually seen them in people rather than just getting a message from people. So that was nice. Um, 
it was great to get on stage again, do some talking, haven't done that for a little while. One of the questions I think you actually asked me that was like, do you get nervous? And it's like, the, the simple answer is no, I don't get nervous. But I did, and it was a learning experience over the past, say, three to five years to be able to actually speak and not get nervous at all, and try to be as authentic as possible and just be me while being on stage. Um, so that was interesting to get back on stage and do that. Um, so the whole experience of what I learned from the people that we met was just people are confused still. Basically people are just ridiculously confused. They don't know what to do to be healthy. They don't know what to do to lose weight. And that's what most people want to do. And there's a huge consensus of people having a real unhealthy relationship with food because of the fitness industry. So that was kind of one of the bigger, bigger things we learned. Um, not learned, but kind of, what do you call it when you're like, it made us feel like we understood what we're, we're talking the right language, do you know what I mean? So personally it was a great progress to be able to speak on a body power stage, it was like self improvement to be able to actually have a standard body power, speak on a body power stage, um, have people coming to see us and it gives us like... Uh, it enforces that we're doing the right thing and we're helping people. So of course with the gym set up, Dean really, really helped with this body power thing. Of course we had five speeches to plan. We had the whole experience to plan. We got the gym down there that I was setting up at the same time and had absolutely no time to be able to put anything to it. And Dean put his, uh, his detailed mind to it. I came up with a few creative ideas and we, and we got it going and it went really, really well. Um, it was great to see it was great to see the Empowered by Eating kind of family, we call them, come down. We had um, we had Joe um, come down and help. We had Nancy come down and help. We had Nads come down and help. Um, you came down, Jordan. Um, who else came? Ash, of course. Dean's wife helped. Connor from Empowered Fit as well came. So they were there helping people, trying to become less confused. And it, it was nice. Um, and yeah, the overall experience for me was was awesome. We talked, we spoke to hundreds of people. I lost my voice over the weekend, and it was good. So I hope you enjoyed the blog. Same blog now. Hope you enjoyed the blog, and um, see you in the next one. Hopefully, we can give some, start giving some information or giving some value in these vlogs now. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are about the body power experience for for you watching it. Thanks.